We're gonna kill our pharmacist. Oh, God. Come, through the back door. We'll drive all night. Come. Hey, Kara. Hey. Yes, Douglas. Come here, come here, come here. There's someone who wants to meet you. Hey, Holly. Hello. Arthur, this is uh, Holly. She's a friend of Spence's. How do you do? Uh, Holly's writing a paper on World War II, and she wanted to speak to someone who was there. Right? Right, yes. Yes, I, I do. Well, uh, are you interested in the real story or just the patriotic crap they want you to believe? Um, the first mm -hmm. one? Oh, a fellow skeptic. Well, let me just take my kettle off the stove and we'll get to it. Okay, Spence says you get 10 bucks a day, right? What? It's, no, it's fine, it's fine. Hi, listen, can we talk Look, about something for a second? Here is $30 in advance for the first week, and you'll come by this time every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and if you could, do me a favor, really wear him out. What? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we all set here? Well, it, it's just... Well, what's the matter? I, I just don't usually do this with people. Hey. Look, you do it with dogs, you can do it with people. It's fine. I'm all set. Shall we talk in here or in the kitchen? Would, would you like to go for a walk? A walk? Fabulous idea. See you later, kids. All right. Well, you guys have a good time. <laughs> Funny thing happened to me the other day at work. I delivered a package to this guy named Bub Capinas. <laughs> hands up, hands up, hands up! There you go. Oh, man. I am sorry, that was just... That was so funny. Well, don't, don't apologize, it was funny. <laughs> God, funny things must happen to you all the time on your job. Oh, they do, they do. Really? Yeah, yeah, oh, thank cereal. you. <laughs> hey, you uh, coming down for breakfast? Nah. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. What you doing? Well, I got up early, so I thought I'd make some breakfast. Just a, a little thank you for having me. Would you like some pancakes, eggs, and handcuffed bacon? Yes, yes, and... Hell yes. <laughs> Just one second. Oh, I'm sorry, that's kind of gross, right? I'll give you five bucks if you can finish it. <laughs> Get out! Wow, you the man. I don't know if I have five bucks on me. Well, I do have this Arby's coupon. That's as good as cash in this house. Great. Have a seat. I've got a lot of food coming up. I hope you're hungry. Okay. Here you go. Oh, hey, do you want me to wheel the TV in so you can watch while you eat? Are you coming down for dinner? I'm tight. I can't get anything done. Let's have sex. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> Hope you like chocolate. Arthur, you were right about Tito. He called me last night begging me to go out with him again. Well, if there's one thing I know, it's how to get a man. <laughs> okay, are they ready for your walk? You betcha. Oh, I got you a little something just to say thanks for being so nice. Well, what is this? World's greatest grandfather. You know, you're like a grandfather to me. A grandfather? Why don't you just kick me in the marbles? <laughs> Why are you mad? Because I'm not like a grandfather. I'm like a father to you. Oh, I didn't mean to say that you were old or anything. It has nothing to do with age. It's about stature. What? Grandfathers are a dime a dozen. That's why everyone gets two of them. 
fathers are the real McCoy. They're the wind beneath your wings. If you can't see that I'm your wind, then you're dead to me! Think of it this way. What would you rather be, a, a piano or a grand piano? A canyon or a grand canyon? An old Opry or a grand old Opry? I ain't buying your soap, lady. Arthur, Arthur, listen, I'm sorry that the trophy hurt your feelings. Just give it to me and I'll take it back. Why, you want to swap it out for a world's best fourth cousin trophy? Now, Arthur, I just want to get this over with so we can go on our walk. Well, it's not going to be over until you admit what's obvious to everyone else. Oh, fine, fine. You're like a father to me. You are exactly like a father to me. I am? Yes. Come in. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? That's it. Let it out. <laughs> hey, <laughs> when he does that, just hit him with a rolled up newspaper. <laughs> so, what's up? Uh, middle of a conversation here. It's OK. I have to leave anyway. Oh, well, do you want to stay for the party? Or? Party? No, thanks. OK, bye. <laughs> See, you. See you later. <laughs> Stay away from her. Well, if that's what you want, I won't. <laughs> Morning. Oh, uh, look, it's Mr. Night Shift. Hey, how was your job doing monkey work in the dark? <laughs> Delightful. Mm. Hey, is that my porka? Yeah. Yeah, wore it to bed. Now it smells like me. Give me that back. No, I'm smelling it up. Give it to me, you hey. lawn dwarf! Hey. Oh, my. Hi, Holly. Oh, hey. How's it uh, going? Good, good. I, I just came for Alan. Oh, right. Oh, I'll go get his leash. Oh, you guys have to keep it pretty brisk in here, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, our gas is not working. Hey, how would you like to do me a favor and just spend the day here waiting for the gas man? You know, I, I, I pay you. It would be nice to earn some money without having to scoop duty. <laughs> I'm free Thursday, if that's good for you. I'll call the gas company. Great. <clears throat> there he is. Hello, buddy. Hello. Come on. Oh, who's my boyfriend? I think it's you. I think you're my boyfriend. <laughs> OK, guys, I'll see you later. See you, Hal. What was that? That was me being a man of action. Emphasis on man. Hey, 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 I know your game, all right? You get her in here, she's waiting in the cold, you're in your warm bed, you're, hey, Holly, why don't you come and huddle with me under the blankets? You're pretty. Hey, hey, look, 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 look. If that happens, it happens, okay? Can't fight nature. Oh, hey, hey, I can if I take a personal day off of work and keep her company while she's waiting. You mean while we're waiting? Please, you will not be able to stay up after working your night job. I will after I take a fistful of prescription stimulants. <laughs> Okay, um, I have a question. Um, what am I doing here, exactly? Duh, you're waiting for the gas man. <laughs> Hello. Well, actually, you both are waiting for the gas man, and, and this is starting to feel, I mean, I don't want to say creepy and weird, but no, actually, that's the best way to describe it. So I'm just going to go. Well, if she's going to go, then I'm going back to work. Well, if you go to work, then I'm going to bed. Well, if you go to bed, there'll be no one here to wait for the gas man. OK, well, you're paying me, so if you both go, I'll just stay. Well, if you're going to stay, then I'm not going back to work. Well, if you stay, then I'm not going to bed. <laughs> OK. <laughs> there you go. That's my home number and my email. <laughs> Great. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm off right now. Do you want to go get something to eat? Yeah, I, I'd love that. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. Enjoy your gas. <laughs> this is where you get your nails done, huh? Yeah. Where do you go? Oh, I don't. I'm a bit of a biter. Uh, obviously, for the special occasion, I'll polish the nubs. Uh, whoa, looks like you took some finger off with that one. I learned a lesson there. Never chop celery angry. 
Nails are pretty gross, though, huh? Yeah, listen, if you want, I can get you one of my girl Sue. I mean, she could fix those right up, and I gotta be honest with you, it's a little rough to look at. That'd be great, thanks. Yeah. Oh, honey, hi. Uh, I just need a manicure, a polish change on my toes, and if Sue could fit my friend Holly in, that'd be great, thanks. Sorry, she can't take you anymore. What? <laughs> not take you anymore, you're not on list. What list? Excuse me? Pretty nails. Uh, Sue. Hi, Carrie. Hey, listen, I think Connie's been sniffing the, uh, the polish remover. <laughs> she said you can't take me anymore because I'm not on some list. Oh, yes, yeah, so I've been cutting back on my hours because I just found out that I'm pregnant. You're going to have a baby? That's great. And I'm not on the list because... Oh. It's nothing personal. It's just that I have so many wonderful clients and I had to choose just by who's been coming to me the longest. Right. Here's the thing, Sue. Nobody does my nails like you do, so why don't we just take the list, a little white out, do the thing with the thing, and I've been coming here for 30 years. <laughs> Look, I promise, if anything opens up, you'll be the first one I call. Okay, all right. Well, thanks. Oh, and you have a very talented mama. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hal, we're out of luck. Hey, Sue can take you any time. But don't tell that one. Carrie, I didn't know you were home. Yeah, well, I may never leave the house again. Uh, I was just dropping off your dad's bill. Oh, all right, I'll just give you the cash right now. No, no, you can just go ahead and mail me a check. You know, I don't feel comfortable carrying around with that cash. It's $15, Hall. Roll the dice. <laughs> just grab it out of my purse, because I my nails are wet. Oh, sure, yeah. What are you doing? Um... Try not to be so dependent on my fingers. <laughs> did you just get a manicure? Gosh, did I? Um, oh, uh, let me see. They look gorgeous. Wow. Why are your hands shaking? I ran out of beer this morning. And I thought, did Sue do these? I told her not to. Well, how'd you get in with her? I mean, what about the list? How'd you get on it? There is no list, Carrie. What? She just made that up so that she wouldn't have to do your nails. Why? Well, she, she says you're too demanding. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm too demanding. Right, you think I'm too demanding, do you? No. Oh, yes, you do. What else did she say? Well, she, she said often, you know, that you're, you're late and that you um, tend to steal the magazines. Oh, okay. Like, I need this week's issue of Korean people. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll just take my money and you go. You know what, I'll just send you the check. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I need Hershey in a little tighter. Cupcake with the funny business. This is a family picture. And that's it. Now hold it. <laughs> now just wait for the flash. Well, Arthur, I hadn't planned on you actually being in the photo. Why not? It's a picture of everyone you walk. Yeah, but I'm sending these to my clients, and I'm not sure that they would understand that I walk a human being. <laughs> when they see your name on the list, I tell them you're a schnauzer. Just smile. Arthur, I don't think I really want to... Do, do it or you're fired! That's mine. <laughs> Only 80 more seconds. Okay. I'm going to see yours. Fine. But if you're so worried about your picture being ruined, I'd worry about him. Buster? Something that ugly doesn't deserve a name. <gasps> Hey, Carrie. Hey, huh? Is your dad here? Uh, no. Why? You weren't supposed to walk him tonight, were you? No. <laughs> no, but my boyfriend and I kind of broke up. It's no biggie. It's a mutual thing. Anyway, um, <laughs> instead of staying home alone, I thought maybe I'd come over here and throw your dad a freebie. <laughs> I assume you're talking about a free walk. Yeah. Oh, not. No, 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 no. I have a strict policy on that. <laughs> okay, well, you're out of luck. He's down at the senior center tonight. Aha. Uh -huh. Is there anything else, or? No. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Carrie, 
Why does every guy break up with me? I mean, I let them stay in my apartment. I give them money. Well, it sounds like you're doing all the right things. <laughs> Look, um... You'll, you'll find someone else. No, no, I won't. I'm a loser. No, you're not a loser, okay? Now, I, I only met him once, but I'd say that guy you were dating, now he's a loser. What was wrong with Snake? <laughs> well, for one, um, the neck tattoo. A lot of people have tattoos. Yeah, not of Charlie Brown shooting up. <laughs> let, let, me, let me ask you a question, Hall. Uh, where do you usually go to meet guys? Um, well, I go to Duffy's a lot. They let me drink for free because I gave them my bra and panties to hang on the wall. Okay, you need to start going to places where the women keep their underwear on and the men are okay with that. <laughs> like where? Oh, oh, okay. Um, well, there's this great new martini bar that just opened up on 38th Street. A lot of people from my office go there. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, it is great. And they make the best raspberry Cosmos. Hey, I bet you it's hopping right now. I'm sold. Let's go. Oh, no, I wasn't talking about me. I, I can't. Oh, right. No, no, of course. Of course. It, it's Valentine's Day. I'm sure you have plans with Doug. Yeah, um, actually, he's driving penguins to Albany. <laughs> I'll go change. Great. Oh, I love this place, and these Cosmo things are delicious. Okay, slow it down there, Hall. Slow it down. Oh. Sorry, I'm used to drinking Rhine Gold through a funnel. Well, you can get back to that tomorrow. Tonight, we focus on finding you Mr. Right, or at least Mr. Not Steal Your Pin Number. Okay, I'm ready. What do I do? What do I do? All right, all right. Well, the most important thing is to just play it cool, all right? You just spot a guy you like, and you, you make eye contact. Then you give him a little smile. And then as quickly as you gave him that smile, you snap it right back. <laughs> you want him to know that you're interested, but it's still up to him to make the first move. Okay? Ah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was just showing her something. <laughs> go, go back to your table. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, tip number two. Yeah. When you're talking to a guy and you know you like him, brush something off your shoulder. That'll drive him nuts. Now, what if he doesn't have anything on his shoulder? It doesn't matter. Oh, I understand you gotta work right. it. Yeah, that's how you landed Doug, huh? Something like that, yeah. Carrie? Hmm. Mr. Prezan, hi. What are you doing here? Well, it's Valentine's Day, so I thought I'd spend it with Lady Vodka. <laughs> At least she doesn't cheat on me with my brother when he stops by to return a book. Well, I guess we'll leave you two alone. <laughs> Come on, Ollie. Right. Yeah, okay. Aren't you gonna introduce me to your friend? Oh, I I'm sorry. Um, Mr. Brazan, this is Holly, my dog walker. Holly, this is my boss, Mr. Brazan. It's very nice to meet you, Holly. Walker of dogs. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Mr. Brazan. Boss of Carrie. <laughs> You have something on your shoulder no, here. No, no, he does not. No, I, he really does it. He really does not. Anyway, I guess we'll see you first thing Monday morning. <laughs> Bye -bye. Look, a boot just opened up. Oh, oh come on, no. let's sit down. Uh, not oh, necessary. Fun. Really? Uh, Thank you. Carrie, Holly's running a little low. Get her a fresh drink, would you? And I'll have a triple Grey Goose ice on the side. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I really appreciate you checking up on me, Neil, but I'm doing all right. Yeah, she's gonna be home any minute, so I can't stay on the phone much longer. Yes. Yo, I'll be at the meeting. All right, then. I'll see you. What's that? Oh, yeah. I will not let the rage of others destroy the light in me. Hey, Doug, I'm just dropping off Arthur's bill, but I, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. Are you an alcoholic? No. Oh. No, me neither. <laughs> so uh, what was that all about? Oh, it's a uh, long story, but it turns out it's Carrie's anger that makes me eat so much. No. Yeah, I was surprised too. Wow, how about that? This whole time she had me convinced it was my fault, but my support group helped me realize that Carrie's bad temper is the problem. She drives me straight into the loving arms of food. I'm gonna kill our pharmacist. 
Oh, God. Come, through the back door. We'll drive all night. Come. <laughs> hey, Kara. Hey. So I go to pick up my prescription from the pharmacy, and I'm in line for like 20 freaking minutes because the pharmacist is a million years old. Then I finally get to the front of the line, and Rip Van Senile says, that'll be $98. <laughs> and I go, no, our insurance covers this. And he says, no, it doesn't. I just, I hate old people. <laughs> Where's our insurance bill? Um, maybe it's upstairs. Why would it be upstairs? Did you put it there? No, I, I don't. I, I, I try to help you out. Why are you acting so weird? I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? I don't know. Well, just help me find it. You poor man. <laughs> Let's go, hands and knees. No, I'm not wrestling with you anymore. You don't respect my safe word. It's a baby. Hey, Holly, I'm drunk. Are you? No. Oh, no, little. Hey, Hall, how's it going? Great, great. Uh, my husband just left me, and I'm about to have a baby with no job and no money, but other than that, real good. I'm splitting up with Carrie. You want to move in with me? Really? Oh, my God. Yes, yes. No, no, you, wait, you said I could move in with you. Did I? You're out. Holly's in. I, I can't believe how, how kind and generous you're being. I mean, honestly, I didn't even think you liked me that much. No, the truth is, I mean, I, I love you more than any of my other friends. Oh, my God. Look, I, thank you. I really needed to hear something like that right now. Oh, no problem. Come on, let's wrestle. Wrapping gifts. Hey, you're a rapper. <laughs> right. If you were wrapping those gifts and then you slapped me around a little bit, you'd be a gangster rapper. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry, did I forget to pay you? Uh, or... No. <laughs> no, I, I need your help with something. I have to buy um, a gift uh, for my cousin, and I want to get her something really nice. Uh, do you have any suggestions? Well, what kind of things does she like? What do you like? <laughs> me? Yeah, I mean, you guys have, like, the exact same taste. I mean, you guys were practically separated at birth, you know? I'm not surgically, more like as if one of you was, like, stolen. Get a little head start in that eggnog there, Hall? No, no, I guess I'm just kind of freaked out because I really need to get this gift. I mean, do you have any ideas? I mean, remember, nice. Okay, nice. Um, oh, well, I saw this gorgeous burgundy leather jacket at Wilson's. That's great, great. What, what size? How would I know? Well, what size are you? And then I'll just add one. Well, I'm a, I'm a size two. That's perfect. That's great. That's great. Thanks. Oh, my God. Oh my God, what? I just realized what Holly was doing. I think Holly's going to get me a really expensive leather jacket for Christmas. Why? Well, I guess she was really touched that I invited her over here to celebrate with us. Crap. How's it gonna look when she hands me a leather jacket and I hand her a Lady Gillette gift pack? <laughs> now I have to get her something nice. Man, between that and my, my father's cruise, there's no way I can afford all this. What am I gonna do? All right, enough of the holiday yakety yak. Let's get down to the real reason we're here, wrapped merchandise. <laughs> all right. Deacon, this one's for you, and it looks like from Doug. Well, what do you know? Here you go, bud. No, thanks. Come on. My sources from beyond the grave say you'll like it. You mean it's batteries included. Thanks, man. Well, it is yours, and I did steal it from you. Yeah, bring it in. All right, guys, save it for under the mistletoe. All right, Holly. Here you go. This is for you. Merry Christmas. Carrie, you didn't need to get me anything. Uh, I think I did. <gasps> oh, my God! This is the best gift I've ever gotten! 
Hope you like it. Oh, I do. Gosh, I'm kind of embarrassed about my gift to you, though. Oh, please. I'm sure whatever it is, I'm sure I'll be delighted. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Okay. Is it folded? <laughs> A lot. Silly, open it up. Okay. A mug? Yeah, I painted it at Color Me Mine. It's for your hot cocoa. Look, it says, Merry Swissmas. Swissmas. Yeah. I, yeah, I get it. That's great. All right, Thank sweetheart. You. I'll turn to swap. Here okay. you go. Thank you, and here you go. Oh, what a lovely box. I have a feeling my ship has come in. You bought me the leather jacket? Another old man cap? Where's my cruise? How'd you know about the cruise? She told me. He said he was gonna punch himself. I can't believe this. I get a stupid cap, and this stranger gets a pair of beautiful gold earrings. Hey! I had to get her the gold earrings. I thought she was buying me a leather jacket. Plus, I had to get Doug his friggin' mentalo. Hey! This is mental man! It's the same thing. Mental man is the cheap knockoff. What's the difference? Fez! Turban, wake up, woman! <laughs> Who cares about that crap? I'm supposed to go to Bermuda. I already got my shots. Okay, butt out, Arthur, okay? Doc, leave him alone. Okay, calm down. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You got mental low. Look, mental man's pretty good, too. Uh, then trade with me. Oh, I don't want no knockoff. Well, what's the difference? Your parents didn't love you enough to buy you either one. Shut up, man. No, give me the mental. Oh, get away from me. Give me the mental. Leave me alone. Stop that! So? What are we doing about my problem? Dad, I can't afford to send you on the cruise right now. I'll send you for your birthday, okay? Fine. You can have this back when I set sail. Oh, don't be ridiculous. That cap I got you is great. I can't stand those 